Hi everyone, it's Rachel from Sweet and Simple Home and today I wanted to share with you a project that I recently tackled after being so inspired watching the One Box Challenge playlist. If you guys missed the One Box Challenge videos, don't worry, I have the playlist link below for you guys. I hope you watch it. I was so inspired myself and decided I needed to tackle this area in my home. I have called this area in my home, my Monica closet before, if you know what I'm referring to. It's that episode of Friends where Monica has this closet that she's like horrified that it's she's such an organized person and this closet is full of junk and that's how I feel <laughs> about this area in my home. So uh, just to give you some background, when my baby was born, this was the place where I just shoved anything and everything that I didn't know what to do with and pretty soon it got out of control so I've shared this area in my home before in other videos because this is just a tricky spot to organize I've struggled with this spot and it's just taken a lot of tweaking and what I've come to realize is what I need to do in this spot is just keep it super minimal what I have in there even though this place is kind of big uh, it's not working to have it completely full so let me describe the place <laughs> it is in my bathroom and it's our linen closet though it's basically a deep cut Cupboard that goes over our stairs and it's in this tight area in the bathroom where it's kind of difficult to reach in and grab things that are far back so I've decided that I'm not going to store stuff that is needed to be accessed in the back of the, the cupboard anymore so let me show you what I started with. So as I was working on this project, I paused and shared with you guys my process. So I hope you enjoy hearing my process as well as seeing uh, how I worked through the organization and decluttering process. So I had a ton of diapers in here. I was given so many as gifts, which was absolutely wonderful, but I had no idea where to shove them, so they just got put in here. There is luggage and toilet paper, bath toys, my iron, paint, everything in this cupboard. It needs to be cleared out. So as you can tell, this cupboard really needs a paint job, but with the weather being as it is, I'm going to have to wait until spring to paint it, but uh, it is all cleared out except for that fan because I couldn't reach it. But here is everything. I put it all out on the floor. I got overwhelmed by the amount and uh, really helped me focus on what I needed to get rid of because there's just too much in this space. It's not usable as it was. So I sorted through, this is my pile of things that are moving on, either giving to my sister, donating, putting in the children's consignment sale, a few things I even just threw away. This is what I ended up with getting rid of the paint are things that I'm passing on to others and I had several empty boxes and baskets and a whole box full of stuff that stuff's for my sister and the paint is going to others as well here is where the paint ended up living this is the perfect spot for it I don't know why I didn't think of this sooner it's with my decor items up top and I got rid of all the ones that were dried out the craft paint fit nicely in that little basket on the bottom and I am just good to go for home decor projects now. Okay everyone, here are the finished results of my linen cupboard organization decluttering project. So starting at the top, the luggage is up there and our blow up mattress and car seat accessories are behind the toilet paper. We went to Costco yesterday and this was definitely part of my motivation for organizing this cupboard was making sure I had a space for our uh, toilet tissue storage so now that's right there and it's really easy to grab and pull down whereas before I had it shoved far back so that's really handy now down here all I have is the bath toys here in this bin and I kept this for uh, water play as well so when Clive's old enough to start doing like sensory bins I can use this but then it also serves as storage for bath toys Behind there I have our diaper stockpile and it goes all the way back, but I like that it's only taking up this much visual space. And then I have my iron sitting here. Down here, back in the back corner, I have our beach towels. Next to that, my baby wipe stockpile. Bath mats go here. And in here, I have adult towels and baby towels. I used one of Clive's already this morning. I'm really pleased with this. My husband is thrilled and I love that there's so much open space. Just because you have space doesn't mean you have to fill it. You can leave it open and just give your space room to breathe. So I'm very happy with it.
The simplified version of this cupboard or cabinet is really working for me and my family so much better than it was before. And what I've come to realize is that less is just always better. <laughs> so I wanted to let you guys know that if you find that you're really struggling with areas in your home and you would just like some coaching or help from me, I actually have a service available now through a website called anthropy.co and you can find me on there and book me for a phone call for organization and decluttering tips, strategies, coaching. Uh, basically, uh, you let me know what you would like to hear and I can give you what I know and give you some maybe personalized advice and encouragement in your journey to decluttering and organizing your space. So if you're interested in that, please go check it out. I will have the website linked down below. You can find me there. And of course, if you guys wanna to continue to ask questions in the comments or emails or messages, you are so welcome to, and I will do my best as usual to respond to those in a timely manner. But I now also have this service available if you're interested. I took this step because I've been dreaming about becoming a professional organizer for a while now, and this is just a way that I can continue to be at home with my kiddos, but also take a little bit of a step towards that goal and be able to speak with you on the phone and help you organize your homes that way. So if you're interested, it's linked down below. Thanks so much as always you guys for watching. If you're new here, please subscribe. We'd love to have you here at the Sweet and Simple Home. Take care, have a wonderful weekend, and I'll be back with more soon. Bye!